Can you talk for me? I'm trying to adjust the sound. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel and I'm Joe and we are Two Crazy Ketos. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're gonna find all our different recipes. Now we do upload videos at, at least, least five, five a maybe. week. <laughs> every week so don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell button and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it i'm getting close this is a this is a new channel i'm following i've almost got the script down but you know give me time Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 112. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you're new here, say hi down below. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Welcome home. We made it. We made it. Thanks for going with us on our trip, everybody. I have so much footage to go through. <laughs> A lot, but you know what? That's so many miles of good times. 3,000 miles in nine good days. Good laughs. We yes. had some hearty belly laughs on this we trip. We did, and it was so awesome because I did all of the driving, but while I was doing the driving, Rachel learned how to put things on our website and was getting everything ready for our May challenge for you guys. And we had such a good time, but hey, listen, here's the thing. We have a lot to do, by the way, in today's Kid on the Couch. So yeah. I'm just gonna let you guys know, this one may be just a little bit longer than normal because Sorry. lots of cool comments and I wanna get to all of them. Lots to unpack. Lots of, <laughs> so we did accomplish what we set out for on our mission. Yes. Right? And should, in case, you did put this on Facebook and Instagram. But I did. I know some people don't have Facebook yeah, and Instagram. Yeah, we wanted to share it. So maybe we should show it right now. Let's do it. You have Kasi? No, he's upstairs somewhere. Oh, okay. No, I thought Blossom, Blossom just came down. Surprise! Oh! <laughs> what are you doing with him? He's up here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying? There's a couple of awesome things going on in that shot. Number one, that is genuinely happy to see you. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you are 50 years old or five years old, you are always your mama's baby, right? <laughs> the other thing was there were such strong hugs of, I am going through an entire full home renovation and I just want to hug somebody because this is hard. Yeah. So a couple people did comment on the Facebook posts and like what's going on at your mom's house and why has it taken two years for you to see you? We generally see my mom once a year and last year was COVID. Yeah. And uh, we weren't able to get up there. She was living in New York on Long Island. You know, there were really severe travel restrictions with getting into New York and stuff like that. And uh, so what happened was she sold my childhood home, the yeah. house that I lived in my whole life. And uh, it was an awesome house, but she lived on the water in Long Island. And with all the storms, Every storm, and it was just getting biter. worse and worse and worse. And she had hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage to the house from the storm. So after it got all fixed up, she just decided like it's time to move. And so she moved to what was our like vacation home during the summer. It was a summer home. It was never meant 
to live in during the winter. It wasn't insulated underneath. Like every winter we would go up there and uh, we had to, it was like camping, but in a house. Yeah. So like the pipes would all freeze. So there was no running water. You just have to melt snow. So moving into that house, they had to go through a full renovation, tearing down walls, leaks, re-insulating, putting underneath, putting in a new well. And uh, it has been going on since last August and it, things are finally starting to move. But of course now there's like lumber shortages and part shortages and I mean, when, I'm glad we got there. I'm so glad we got there. But I mean, at the beginning of this project, she didn't even have a driveway. No. Yeah. I mean, we, we're we talking, we had to begin with paving roads. Yeah. We had to put a new driveway in. And then when we got there, we found out she, she has since last August been basically doing all of her, first of all, living almost out of an ice chest. Yeah. And then um, using like literally those camping toilets to go to the bathroom. I mean, my mom's 81 years old and yeah. she didn't even tell us half of what was going on. I think, you know, she's just such a strong woman that she's just like, I've got this. Yeah. And sometimes we don't share what we're going through. Yeah. So like, it's okay to, to say, I'm having a rough time. Yeah. Like, is there some, I mean, and maybe somebody can't solve every problem, but maybe, you know, you can provide some suggestions. So as soon as we got there and realized what She's this- She's cooking on a camp stove, a little propane camp stove. And and you're just kind of stuck in that in that rut. It was amazing. We were like, we, we got this. Like, let's get a Blackstone. This will be a lot easier to cook on. Mm -hmm. It's going to just make you feel better as you're waiting for your stove and oven, you know, to like get all installed. And it was, it was like her countenance changed the yeah. moment that you sort of like, you know, it was an awesome four days and I wish like we could have stayed it. longer. Me too. I really do wish we could have stayed longer, but I feel like we got a lot accomplished. We introduced her to keto chow because she was like, I'm losing my lean muscle. My yeah. mom was always like very farm strong. Oh you know? yeah. A lot of the work that was originally done in that house, like all the decks and all that kind of stuff, we did it together as a family growing up. And so she was farm strong and she's like, I'm losing my lean muscle and I need a protein drink. And I'm like, I got ya. Yeah. We introduced her to Keto Chow, and it was at the perfect time because we had to film the unboxing of the May box. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to leave a link for it right up there because there's a new flavor. There's a brand new flavor created by your two crazy Ketos over yes. here. So we had the awesome privilege to be able to develop a brand new flavor. It's a coffee flavor which is sort of what we're drinking right now. Yeah. By the way, you don't even know what this is. This is a it's full, delicious. I'm, I have a full blender bottle of coffee because you drank the whole pot again. I did. And then I put one scoop of this and then two tablespoons of butter because you want to have a little bit of fat to be able to get all of the nutrients in there. Right. You need at least 10 grams, but I knew we were going to split it. So we're each getting a tablespoon of butter yeah. to get some of these electrolytes and these nutrients in here. And this is delicious. It's delicious without coffee. There is no caffeine in this. There is no coffee in it. Well, and that's what I love yep. because if that's something that, you know, you want to be able to to drink it and have it in the evening, right. you don't have to worry about, well, am I not going to bed tonight? Right. And, and honestly, this was a flavor that I had in mind for seniors too. Right. Because I can remember my, my grandmother had Alzheimer's. She actually passed away from complications from Alzheimer's and you know, as she went through her journey with this, it's almost like she reverted to a toddler state, you know, where right. toddlers are really picky and, you know, she didn't want to eat all of the, the nutrient rich food that my, my grandfather was trying to give her. But no matter what, no matter what was going on, she always enjoyed her coffee still. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, wouldn't it be awesome if no matter what you could have like your protein and all of your vitamins and your nutrients even snuck in right. to a senior's diet if that's if you need that right. you know and i thought that that was so awesome so i was i was thinking of my grandmother while we were making this so this flavor is not currently available it was only available if you got it in the may box however we are giving away two of the may boxes and we will be picking the winner on this week's live stream, which is 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, right here on Two Crazy Ketos on YouTube. So head on over to that video, leave a comment down below on it. Now we are asking again, not mandatory, if you currently get the Chow Club box and you already got a bag of this, kindly maybe say, hey, can we pass this on to somebody else? We can get as many people to try it as possible. Now, 
Again, you don't have to. Maybe you have somebody else in your family you want to give it to. That would be awesome too. But it's been great going through all the comments. So many people again, yes, I want somebody else to try this. You guys are so awesome. And we just really thank you so much for the reception that, that you've given this new flavor. Yes. Um, you know, I know it's Ooh, not... It's like all down the side already. I know, right? It's <laughs> not, I know that it's not going to be everybody's favorite flavor. And it, it's funny... I, I wasn't anticipating that because it's just like I love it and I love coffee. So, you know, when we would get somebody that's like, coffee's not my favorite thing, I thought, oh my gosh, we yeah. stink so hard. But I, I You don't like peach. But I don't like peach. Right. So I know that it's not gonna be maybe everybody's, you know, favorite flavor, but we really love it. And we've just been so thankful for all of the the sweet messages and videos that y'all have sent us just sharing um your first couple cups. Of this now uh, somebody treat. did message that maybe or hopefully keto chow will let us develop other flavors and i am really hoping that miriam lets me develop a peanut butter and jelly no. flavor no. she did agree to peanut butter and jelly let's wait let's back up she did agree that she would let me develop peanut butter and jelly if i would do a week long because we have to develop a black licorice and uh -huh. i am willing to drink black licorice for an entire week to get peanut butter and jelly keto chow. I think that you are willing to drink an entire week of black licorice because you're facing an egg fast this week. You had to bring it up. I had to. So. We came home. We came home to seven dozen eggs because our children didn't eat the eggs. Apparently. And the girls give us six every day. Yeah. So Rachel's got this brilliant idea that we're gonna eat eggs this week. It's been two years since we did an egg fast. And I know you hated it, and I've waited two years. It's time. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell button to be notified when that video comes up because we're starting it today. Yeah. The day that you're the day that this kid on the couch is premiering. Yeah, Sunday. Okay, which is May 3rd. We're filming it on Sunday. May right 2nd. now, we're going to have brisket later today to kind of soften the blow. I mean, I'm having show. brisket. You're starting with eggs. No, no, no. No, we're, well, we have brisket. an entire brisket. And since yeah. we can't have any leftovers, I feel like I should get the brisket. And since you want to do eggs, let's give you a dozen eggs. And well, I mean, I'm fine with that. You're threatening me with eggs. I love eggs. <laughs> I love them. Um, I've been going through a boiled egg You thing. have. And, and they really carried us through the entire road trip. Like, I just can't get enough of them right now. So, oh, look, my sticker is still on. We found a new favorite store. What size are you? It's a large okay. because I wanted it a little big. All right. But we stopped at Bucky's. I'm in love with this place. <laughs> I go in there and get beef jerky. She's buying hard boiled eggs. I know, but I just can't get enough. <laughs> But I did enjoy the beef jerky a lot. You did enjoy the beef jerky. Okay, again, we have a lot to do. I want to talk about the May challenges. Yes. Before we do that, we have a sponsor. Perfect. If I can turn the label right. We never get that right. So we have a sponsor for today's video. It is Perfect Keto. Perfect Keto is huge supporters of our channel. Thanks, and we guys. greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't know what Perfect Keto is, Perfect Keto is a complete nutrition company for the ketogenic lifestyle. And uh, they have some delicious products. They have collagen. They have MCT oil powder. They do sell ketones. They call it their base. We actually like it. It, it is very good if you need a little boost of energy. I'm not going to lie. I had a couple scoops of it while I was driving, driving. 3,000 miles. I wanted um, him clear. Yeah. Uh, really helps you um, with a cognitive function. I just always like to make it clear Exogenous ketones are not going to help you lose weight any faster. They're just good at giving you a little bit more energy, maybe helping you a little bit with the keto flu because they're bound to salts. So if you want some energy, great. If you need a little bit more cognitive function, like maybe you have an important review at work or a test coming up, great. Just don't take them to lose weight. Right. They also have my new favorite product, which I don't have any left, so I don't have any here. They went on and the And they were sold out. Yep. Um, and that is the NOLA bars. I actually like them better than the keto bars. They were perfect. They have a great flavor to them. You know what was funny was we were passing through Georgia, and in the past, the first thing that we would be doing was like stopping for peanuts. Yep. And Joe was like, I, I don't need them. I don't need them. I have yep. a hankering for some peanuts. He just pulled out a Nola bar and was eating it. And it was just like, yeah, 
That thing is delicious. I got my peanuts. I have one of those peanut bars left. Super fresh tasting peanuts Yeah, really, too. like not raw, not like moldy or stale. They're just perfect. You know what I'm glad we avoided this trip that I feel like we fall into every single time we pass through Georgia? What? The wet hot boiled peanuts. I've never been into those. I My mom always, has always loved them. I always think I'm going to like them. Like maybe this trip I'll yeah. love them. No. My mom still loves no. those things. I, so, I'm just not a fan. We avoided the slime this this trip. While we're talking about cooking, let's talk about our May challenges. So we, we actually only have one May challenge. However, this month is Cinco de Mayo, which yes. is like, Rachel's not calling it Cinco de Mayo. Celebration de Mayo. Celebration. Or, and we're going to call it Celebration Month. Yeah. Right? So this month, every day over on our Instagram, we actually upload a recipe. It's yeah. just a little picture recipe. You know, things that we've come up with. A lot of, they're very, very simple. They're dips. They could be seasonings. They could be a little quick chicken salads, things like that. Mm -hmm. We are going to start posting them over on our website. If you go to our website, okay, on our website, as soon as you log on to it, you're going to have this page right here. And if you scroll down, you have two things. You have whatever our monthly motivation is, which is what we're gonna get to. Then in the middle, now we have our recent videos there. And then over here is gonna be the daily recipe. So what that means is if you don't have, you know, uh, Instagram or Facebook, and you know, I don't know, a lot of people are trying to get away from social media, yeah. you can head over to our website, twocrazyketos.com and get all of the recipes right there, in addition to our regular recipes up in the recipe section. Yeah, and we're having fun with this. It's all about recipes that you would maybe take to a picnic, a potluck, you know, have it at a party, just some fun recipes to celebrate the month of May. It's always so encouraging to just give everybody ideas yep. for new things because keto is not boring. That's it is right. exciting. And there's so many delicious flavors to incorporate into this life. Now, if you head back on over to our website, um, if you go to our blog, which all you have to do is go up here to keto one-on-one -on -one, and then you go to our blog, you can also go to twocrazyketos.com slash r dash blog. And you're gonna see right here, Rachel, we've been in the middle of putting all of Rachel's blog posts, like old Fearless Fridays um, from like two years ago. Yeah. They're all going up in here. So if you're looking for some things to read, some awesome inspirational posts from Rachel, go ahead and check some of these out. But you're gonna come over here and you're gonna see our May in Motion challenges, new daily challenges start on Saturday, May 1st. And then uh, we've got a few things here that we're gonna talk about real quick. Yeah, so um, we have talked so much about wanting that blue dot, having a sticker, something that we can feel excited about every single time we participate in a challenge. Like I want to make it a game. Right. I get very competitive. Well, let's go over the challenge first. Yeah. Okay, so. I've only got two of the pages on here because there are a bunch of them. Now, all of these are going to be linked down below. They're going to be on our website. They're also on our Facebook page, so you can go there. But if you don't, again, don't have Facebook, we're going to put a link from down below, down below where you can actually download them. And again, everything is on the website. So we have, these are the first few days. You have 14 days here. The two crazy ketos, May in Motion, stay in motion. So you have things like? Well, we have like walking 30 minutes and tackling the big chore is actually here for Sunday. I've already started working on, you know, unpacking. I, I wanna avoid that as, as long as possible, but today is tackle that big chore. So unpacking and getting my house back in order is what I've been doing today to just do it. Mm -hmm. And all of these things are just for us to continue keeping momentum in uh, this month from what we did in April, the No Joke Challenge. Right. And I thought, you know, for some people, they enjoy writing in a journal or a planner, and maybe you wanna write down what you did so that you could look back at the at the end of the month and say like, look at all the cool things that I did. Yeah, so looking at this, there are a lot of good ones in here, funny ones, just things like lift yourself up, balls, and every day if you go to their website, it's gonna actually tell you what each one entails. You have things like have a seat, dancing, take a lap, do yoga, have a green thumb. So we're really excited about that. Now to help you track that, again, Rachel is all about the blue dot. Yes. She needs something saying good job. 
and generally me saying good job not enough. isn't enough for her. Not enough. So Rachel came up with this thing, and that is the May in Motion bingo card. Now, because there's 31 days, you've got to have two cards. So you've got two chances to, to get bingo and really two chances to fill your whole card up. Right. Which is fun. So you want to use a little dauber and fill it out just like bingo. Every put an X, put a sticker. Every single time you complete one of the challenges, go ahead and give yourself that, you know, that space. You've right. won that space. And, you know, even though we are doing it in a particular order, right. you don't have to do it in order. If you tackle the big chore today, Monday, right. instead of doing today's daily challenge, that's fine. Go ahead and give yourself a sticker there. But it's just a way for you to celebrate your wins and focus on that. And if you could, if you get that closet cleaned out and you have a beautiful picture to share, go ahead and put it on social media. Tag us in that um, picture, either on your Facebook group or on Instagram and just let us know that you're participating. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. And again, the whole point is we just spent the last 30 days with the no joke challenge and we thought it would be fun to let's keep the movement going. Yes. I have to be honest. Rachel was awesome during our trip. She only had one day where she didn't get to walk, and that was because it was a travel day. Yeah, it was a really long travel day. But uh, all the other times, she was walking five miles all through the Catskill Mountains, through Monticello and South Fallsburg, and she was taking some incredible pictures. Yes, there are so many beautiful sights to see. And I love seeing pictures from other people's walks too, because you know, you're know you cognizant of different parts of the country. So right. I, you know, if I'm only looking at stuff in Florida, I'm missing out if you guys are seeing things in Texas or California or England. Right. Like, I wanna see what you're seeing on a yeah. walk. So I was really proud of her because she did all her walks because me, not so much. I, I, I definitely slacked off a little bit in the exercise. I was doing some walking, I was doing, I was riding my bike. We brought Rachel's bike and she rode it a couple of times, but she did the walking. Yeah. I was riding my bike, I was enjoying it, but I, I kind of slacked off on my Bronson exercises and Renee has challenged me. So I'm getting back on the horse tomorrow. Good job. I'm gonna get back into, I'm doing like all of the apex training things and Renee's actually challenging me to actually post in a group, which is definitely not something that I do. I don't usually Aww. post. If you look at my Facebook page, I almost never post. Most posts are done by Rachel. I'm not, I'm not a social media poster kind of person, but I am gonna get better at that and I'm looking forward to getting my exercises going along with doing the May challenge. So let's do this. Let's take a quick commercial break. And then after that, we can come back and uh, get into all our comments and stuff. Okay. Oh, I just realized that I have not changed out our set for Easter. It's That's now okay. a new mate. Mama's trying. I'm just Mama's noticing trying, kids. We, we've been ranting for 25 minutes. And we haven't gotten to comments yet. Let's, let's get it done. Okay. Before we even do comments, I just spaced and completely realized we have a giveaway. We do. We have to pick the winner for our giveaway. So we have from our no, uh, eating vlog the other day. Yeah. If you haven't seen that video, link is right there. It's a Get full a day of eating video. Bunch of keto bricks. And uh, we actually just put another one up yesterday with my brand new grill. I'm so excited about that thing. And so here's what's in this that we were giving away. It's some keto brick. We love keto brick. Um, if you um, ever want to try it, it's a thousand calorie meal replacement. And a koozie. I took these things with me on our trip and it was awesome. Like what a great way to be in the car. We didn't stop and eat. We were eating no. beef jerky, hard boiled eggs, and keto brick. That was our driving. We never stopped at a restaurant. We never cooked when we were actually on the road. We stayed on plan and I feel like we saved a butt ton of money. We did. With the exception of beef jerky. Yeah, we spent a lot of money on, we, a lot of money on beef jerky. But we didn't want to miss the opportunity to get it. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick the winner for this one right here. So we have pick a winner. And uh, let's see, Fetch, I already have the URL in there. Anything goes. Let's see, how many are there? Ooh, nice. 260 unique comments, and, and we have pick a winner. Winner is? The winner is Linda, Linda. McLover. I right? love it. Said, that's exactly what I'm drinking right now, Joe. How cool is that? <laughs> I don't remember what I was drinking. You're but drinking buddies. Linda, here's what you need to do. You need to send us an email at joe at twocrazyketos.com with all of your shipping information. Now, today 
is Monday for Kid on the Couch. It is May 2nd. We've had a couple of times where people have not contacted us for the winners, and we want to be able to give this stuff away. Yes. So here's what we're going to do. If we don't hear from you, Linda, by our live stream this Wednesday, which is, let's see, the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, Thursday. Thursday. So what is that, the 7th? It's a lot of math for me to have to it's think about. It's the 6th. So if we okay. don't hear from you by 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, on May 6th, we'll give it away. We're going to give it away to somebody else during who are, somebody who's actually on the live stream. I'm not worried. Linda has got this. So please send us an email at joe at twocrazyketos.com with all of your shipping information and we will get this stuff out. Nice. You want to put that off to the side? I sure will. Let's get into our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. And since we've been talking about our challenge and inspiration, I needed to shout out my good buddy. Yes. My good buddy here who, when we first announced this challenge, let's face it, he was like, what? Come on, <laughs> right? And, and But oh my gosh, I, I know you guys get inspired, but this guy has inspired me, both him and his wife, because for the last 30 days, Heath Parker yes. and his wife Shelly, which I spelled that wrong up there, did our challenge. Our, not the no joke challenge, but the chopped challenge. I know they were doing some of the no joke challenge. They killed it. But they did it. the chopped challenge. And this is their entry for day 28 of the exciting protein challenge set up by Two Crazy Ketos was an air fryer keto kielbasa concoction. Every single thing that they made is so delicious. And because they oh did this. Oh my gosh, this, I was so inspired. There are 30 easy to do delicious recipes on their website, mm -hmm. do, our YouTube channel. Do not miss out on these incredible dishes that they made. Go back, watch their video, like them, subscribe to their channel. They did such an incredible job. Heath and Shelly, thank you so much for participating in the Chop Challenge for every day. And I know there were several people that did it. Yes. But just thank you for uploading those videos every day for having your Friday night live stream, which I know a lot of our subscribers go over and, and kind of join in with the hungry horde the while hungry you guys horde. are cooking and eating. We really, really appreciate it. So good. Now let's get into our college, our um, subscriber of the week. Okay. And uh, if you're new to our channel, we have a Facebook family group. If you're not a member of it, why not? There's get, a link for it down below. Get to, get to subscribe into the, it. There's only a few simple rules. We also have some phenomenal moderators in there. So if you have so any kind of issues, good. you can always message them. Just don't break the rules and they're nice and super and sweet. Yeah. But they're very protective when we break rules. Which, so. we, which we got to. We got to put a fence around what we find to be precious. Yes. And our family group is precious. So we're, here's what we ask you guys to do. Do us a favor. No matter where you're in your keto journey, whether you've been doing this for a week or doing it for a month or doing it for five years, share your story. Even if you're not at the end of your journey yet. Because something that you're going through or that you went through, there's somebody else going through that. Yes. And when they see your story, they're going to be like, oh. I'm not alone. So please share your story. And every week we like to pick somebody's story and just kind of honor them because that's what Keto on the Couch is. It's all about our subscribers. And this week's subscriber of the week is Brian. Hey, Brian. Brian said, so bear with me on the non-scale victory from this pick. I've been overweight since about age 12 and I remember all too well the horror that I felt when my mom took me to get new school jeans and told me that we had to get the husky size pants. Yep. I feel like Brian is telling my story Yeah, here. He's like, I slimmed down a bit with sports. I did it through camp and during the summer with sports through high school. But as I got out of the Navy and now throughout most of my adult life, I have been heavy and very camera phobic. Me too. Really? There are family pictures that I'm just not in and others that I would be strategically behind someone or leaning along a stairwell. Uh, whatever I could do to lessen the visual blow. I No kidding, this is my story. Toss pillow. Right? Fast forward to Monday night, we just assembled our new telescope to watch the April summer moon and Karen wanted a pic of me with my new toy. Now, granted, it's not the best pic, but what it means to me is awesome. You see, Karen took the pic and asked me if I was okay with her posting it at Facebook. I said, sure. Now, what makes this such an event is that now three days later, I realized I didn't even ask to see the pic first. 
That is huge. My health has improved enough of, and my self-image has recovered to the point where it didn't even occur to me to ask to see the pic first. Keto has given me my life back and I just wanna thank this group for helping me to realize just how much it has given me and leave you with this thought. It's not the number of times you get knocked down that counts. It's the number of times you get back up. We got this. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> so, no kidding, that is my story. If you go through, even before Rachel, the last 14 years, or I'd say 11 of the 14 years, there's maybe five pictures of me. We have no pictures of me with our kids when they were growing up. The few that we have are, are usually where Rachel snapped it candidly and I don't ever share it or her mom would take them and put them on Facebook and I would get upset because yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm fat and I really don't want my picture out there. And so I, I definitely know what you're going through, Brian, and congratulations. Yeah, I mean, there's so much hope in that picture. Like he's looking off into the future. Like there right. is a future. And I can remember the same, like what you're saying is, you know, you'd have all of these family celebrations. The kids would graduate from something or do something cool. And you want to take a picture with, with the child. Right. You want to take a picture with your family. You want to remember something. And then, you know, if you took it, you're like, well, I can't share that. Right. Like I can't enjoy it. I can't celebrate that moment because of the way I feel like I look in that picture. Right. And just... It's just amazing. I mean, I was like absolutely speechless seeing that picture. It was so beautiful. You're saying like, that's not the greatest picture. I think that Brian, that is the greatest picture. Yeah. So let's move into our comments from last week's uh, Keto on the Couch. Now, I know last week we struggled a little bit. Not a lot of internet by mom's house, but we yeah. were able to get it up. Uh, we got it up a little late. Uh, but again, if you're watching this right now, make sure you say hello because if you're watching this at 10 a.m. on Monday. I'm typing to you. We're in the live chat right now. Okay, so first comment is from Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Said, I plan. I like to eat my favorite foods last. End on a delicious note. So she is a planner like you. I am a planner, right? Are you a planner for your food? You're not a planner. You're just like... Your plan is, I'm going to clean my plate. My plan is all of it. <laughs> okay, next one is from Gail. Hey, Gail. She said, like Joe, I am a plan your last bite also. You've got to plan your last bite. It's got to be like the best flavor. Don't let it just happen to you. I will say that sometimes when you're, when I'm eating a steak, I'm more of a planner because I want to always end on like a juicy fat bit and not like on a gristle. Right. So that there I am a little bit more strategic. I just realized we're making that delicious delicious brisket out there on the smoker, which I should probably go check it, but I'm not going to because keto on the couch is more important. <laughs> but now I need to go get coleslaw because you can't eat brisket without coleslaw. Gotta I got to go get a cabbage and make some coleslaw. Got but we'll to. get a little bag so that I'm not like staring at coleslaw with egg fast all week. Ooh. Okay, next one is from Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda. Said, yes, I plan my last bite. LOL. I want the best thing last. What is usually the best thing for you? It depends is, on what we're eating. Is Like if you're having hamburger, sausage, eggs, what would be the best thing? Hamburger, sausage, eggs. Sausage. Okay. Yeah. I will say- Got another one for me? Well, I okay. Um, What about brisket and coleslaw? Oof, that's tough. But if it's my coleslaw, it's usually take a bite of brisket and then- Dip it in the coleslaw and that, see so now you get the mixture of flavors. I will say that. I now say, if there's cheese on there, it's always cheese. I say that. Cheese is always the last bite. Really? Oh yes. Got to end on the cheese. I say that I don't plan, but I will say that if I have a fried egg, I usually eat that first because it gets cold first. Yeah. It's not because I want to like get it out of the way. It's just that it goes cold first. <laughs> Okay, next one is from Glow. Hey, Glow. Um, they say, I save the best bites for last. Hubby changes radio stations all the time. I just leave it on one station as long as it is playing music and not just talk. I did so good this trip. I was just going to say, so Rachel, I was so proud of her because I did all of the driving. She's a little afraid of the trailer, rightfully so, even though we have a really awesome hitch. There were some rides where I felt like we were going down. But we had this. no sway. That Hensley hitch, 70 miles an hour, 65 Worth miles an hour down I-95. Money. Tractor trailers passing us. We never once swerved, no matter how bad the winds are. I couldn't believe it. We definitely had some like going up some very steep hills where I'm like, come on, baby. Very come on, baby, steep. get up there. It reminded me of the Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz movie.
seriously had a second prayer the morning that we left to get out of mom's driveway. Well, it's a gravel driveway in the rain going uphill like and this. I don't have a four wheel drive. But we got up there, no problem. It, I, it was I, awesome. I teased you a little bit. Like I pulled up like five feet and I said, oh wait, I want a camera. She almost killed me. <laughs> Once we got to the top of the hill, I was like, I need to change my clothes now because I've sweated these down. Okay, next one is from Marie. Hey, Marie. She said, love the post. I needed some encouragement today. The scale says I'm up a couple of pounds, but I see in the mirror that my t-shirt looks like a dress awesome. now. Awesome. Safe travels. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I mean, the scale is the devil. Yep. We say that all of the time, and it is not a good indicator of the progress that you're making. Mm -hmm. You need to check like your clothes, make sure you're taking progress pictures, and then always be measuring with a seamstress or tailor's tape so that you can see what's really happening. Well, we had several of those this week. So here's one from Marianne. She says, I was wondering if someone could take time to explain the protein, fat, carb macro that you were discussing, discussing about one-to-one -one and how to do the protein and fat using your goal weight. I'm not sure if that's what you said. I didn't understand that at all. Okay, no problem. And I know some people are like, why do you guys keep answering the question? Because we have new people, right? Yeah. And it's very important to us that we get like set right in our macros and we don't make some of the mistakes we made. And again... I want to say this because some people don't understand it quite yet with the one-to-one. -one. Yeah. We are not advocating a high-protein, low-fat diet. We are advocating one-to-one -one grams of protein to grams of fat, which works out to still be a high-fat diet. It's about 65 to 70% fat from calories. That is still a high fat, moderate protein diet. Yeah. And so here's the thing. It's easier for me to wrap my mind around measuring grams of protein versus saying, well, and v versus saying like, what is 70%? Right. I, it's very challenging for me t to actually accomplish that unless you give me a product like Keto Brick and they've done all of that math for me. Right. But if I'm making, you know, eggs and bacon and sausage and that kind of stuff, a hamburger, it is way easier for me to say grams than mm. it, it and weigh that out than it is for me to try to, you know, math out the percentage. Yeah, because now all you have to do is pick up a package. And even if you go back to years ago, like three, four years ago, watch some of Keto Connect videos, and they would talk about like looking at packages like of sausage, and what were they always looking for? For the protein and the fat to be the same, yep. right? That's one to one. Look, they looked at the grams of protein and the grams of fat, and like, oh, one to one. So, I mean, this is not a new concept, but it's nice and easy when you pick up a package of sausage or a pack, package of bacon or a package of ground beef, and you can just look at the grams and go, 50 grams of protein, 50 grams of fat, Perfect, we're keto. In the cart. It makes it so much easier. So here's all you need to do. All you're gonna do is take whatever your ultimate goal weight is. Okay, your, and what I like to say, not your ultimate, your dream goal weight. Because if you're like me, when I got first started, my ultimate goal weight was like 235, 240 pounds. That, that, that wasn't an ideal weight for me. That wasn't even a healthy weight. It was just healthier than what where, I where was. You at. So I want you to look at your dream weight. So for me, my dream weight was 200 pounds. Okay. So Rachel, right now, like your goal weight is what? 150, 150. right? 150. So and I like 150. It's a nice round number, yeah. especially for women, right? So you go, my goal, my ultimate dream weight is 150. So you, now you're going to eat 150 grams of protein a day, at least 150 grams. If you're only eating like 60 right now, that's your goal. You want to get yourself up there. It may take you a few weeks to get up to that much. Because you're not used to it. You want to just start eating more protein. Plus, protein is going to fill you up. It's going to make you feel full in the moment while you're eating. Then the other side, your fat and your carbohydrates, keep your carbs under, I'd say, 30 total carbs. And then, so that would be 120 left because you have 150 minus 30 and then from there, you can have up to 120 grams of fat. Yeah. Don't exceed the 120 grams of fat. So your energy, fat and carbs combined, should not exceed 150. The protein can, the fat and the carbs can't. Yeah. That easy. And if you're trying to get it in and you're having a challenge, lead with your protein. When mm -hmm. you sit down to your meal, eat your protein Protein's the most first. important. You don't need carbs in order to live. That is like your fun stuff. Like I don't need to have lettuce and broccoli in order to continue living on this earth. I'm going yeah. to need protein and I'm gonna need some fat to like unlock all of the nutrients, but 
I eat my broccoli last. Right. And again, that's where I think people are misunderstanding with the fat. You need fat. We're not saying don't eat fat. Don't fall in the mistake of like, well, I have fat on my body, so I shouldn't eat fat. You need to eat fat. You yeah. should be taking in at least 60, probably 70 grams of fat a day, unless somehow your goal is to be under 70 pounds, which I don't think it is, we, right? I don't think it should be. I don't think it should be. So, so very, very simple. If you have any questions, email us. You can email Joe at twocrazyketos.com and we'll try to walk you through it. Okay. Okay, next one is from Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Lisa said, I love, love, love this vlog. I am still new to keto, and I really appreciate when you guys break things down for us beginners. Thanks, Lisa. I have been going in and out of ketosis for weeks now per the Keto Mojo, and I can't figure out what I'm doing to cause it. Carb Manager says I can have 1,200 calories, but if I eat 130 grams of protein, I'm way over in the calories. Any help to understand the right balance would be great. Wish y'all could do a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me to break it all down. Enjoy your trip. Have fun. I'm going to check out what the keto bricks are from the other video. Looks yummy. Throw the calories out. Throw the throw out carb manager except for to track how many grams is in. Do not look at calories. Why? Protein calories don't matter. Your right. body is not going to use the protein for energy. It's if you got to look at the way your body works. It's gonna take the protein, it's gonna use protein so that it can have building blocks or amino acids, things like that, build your muscle. The first thing it wants to do is get rid of alcohol if you have any in you, and when you get alcohol, everything else pauses. That's why we try to avoid alcohol, especially if you're trying to lose weight. After that, then it's gonna to go to the carbs and the glucose. Once the carbs and the glucose are gone, then it's gonna to go to the fat and work the fat for energy, and if there's no fat, and no carbs, and no glucose, and no alcohol, then it will use the protein calories. Yeah. What's so the chance never, we have no fat? It's never going to get to them. Right, so again, eat one to one like we were just talking about. Don't worry about the calories. The only calories you're worrying about is your fat and your carbohydrate calories. And from there, just look at the grams. Don't exceed what your ultimate goal weight is. Uh, next one is from Advice Seeker. Hey there. Um, they say, do you know of a good keto version of a Snicker bar? I like the Atkins version, but the Malatol is not good for me. Okay. Um, no. And yes. The closest you're going to get to a Snickers bar would be um, probably, honestly, the if, if, good version with good, right. good ingredients. Keto it, bars? No, I'm going to actually say the brand new Nola bar from our sponsor. Yeah. The peanut one. It's more like a payday bar. Yes. But it's going to give you that flavor without the chocolate. Here's what I'm going to say though, especially if you're new to keto, don't look for imitations. Yeah. It's first you're of all, started. whether you're new to keto or you've been on keto for five years or three years like Rachel, if you look for imitations, look for like lookalikes or taste alikes you're going to be disappointed and all it does is bring back remember when yeah the better thing to do is find replacements like hey i used to really like milkshakes but now i Instead, get bacon <laughs> i'm going to have keto chat there you go and you know or like hey i really used to like having a bread with my burger now i'm chaffle. going to have a chaffle is it taste like bread no it gives you the same feeling but now you're not going to miss bread. Does that make sense? It does. And um, I mean, my first response was bacon. Right. Because you need to think about that too. Yes. Because you don't want to get bogged down in, I don't get to eat what everybody else gets to eat. Right. It would be better to put yourself in, I get to eat stuff people don't get to eat. So right. most people do not get to eat bacon and cheeseburgers and all of the delicious fatty rich, they're, they're not eating ribeye all of the time. That's right. what that's what they're saving for just birthday dinner. We eat every day. Right. So just, you, you wanna put yourself in a position where you feel like you're blessed every day, not cursed. Right. You know, I mean, it's the same thing, like even regular chocolate. Like, if you're going to look for, I want a replacement for a Nestle's Crunch Bar. Yeah. You're not probably going to find it. You can find something that, you know, Good hey, enough. instead of a Nestle's Crunch Bar, I'm going to have a piece of this, you know, Rice Krispies thing that, I don't know, Chalk Zero made or whatever. Yeah. But it's not going to taste the same. And the sooner we can get past, like, I need it to taste the same, the better you're going to do on keto long term. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia. She says, do you have to buy the wines and question mark? Okay, so I guess that is from when we stopped at the wineries on our trip down. We stayed at a place called Harvest Host, or we belong to Harvest Host. 
which is a network of wineries and farms and, and golf courses and museums and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what happens is, is you stay there for free and you go in there and what they ask you to do is, hey, can you do us a favor? Since they're letting you stay here for free, these different wineries and farms, they get nothing out of it. They don't get paid by Harvest Host to be a member of this. What they get is people find them. Yeah, so I mean, when we were going up, we were we bought a bottle of, you know, some bottles of wine because that's something that Joe's mom My mom loves wine. enjoys, but when we were coming back, we stayed at another winery and we're not going to go visit my mom and we don't drink wine. Right. So we were like, okay, is there something else? Sometimes there's a little t-shirt or a hat. Most, I mean, even the other wineries we sold got that. We got pimento cheese. We got some delicious what was the other cheese. Thing we got? And the other thing was some salsa. Yes. That was locally Ooh, made. There's some of that left. And it was so good. And you know, that's a way that you can taste the flavor of the place that you're staying in, right. you know, which is really, really nice. I enjoyed it. Yeah, so it's not a requirement on Harvest Host. It's just the right thing to do. You know, they're letting you stay on their property. And, you know, I I like it because I it, that's kind of like becomes our gift thing. Like we yeah. went to Mr. Chris's coffee house. Got some coffee. And we got some coffee. We went to this little farmer's market in Lancaster. Bought we some got sausages. some cheese. We actually got a couple of little presents for the boys that they really liked. Mm -hmm. So... You know, it's just a nice way of like, instead of doing your gift shopping in a mall, we just find something in these little places. Well, and it's very surprising because you're staying someplace that you've, you know, probably never been before. And, and it's kind of like, it's kind of like getting a child club box, right? right. You get there and you're like, what is there to see? Right, right. It's exciting. So, uh, next one is from Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Wendy said, I've never joined your challenges, but I think it's time. Aww. I'm in. I hope you're in, Wendy. I'm excited. Yeah, this is something where I think you can challenge yourself. It's not, you know, so regimented that if you feel like, okay, well, I don't think I can do the jump roping, mm -hmm. you know, or I can't do these particular exercises, you're going to be able to be creative and, and do it for yourself. So like the big chore at your house is way different than the big chore at my house. Right. It's all about just getting it in. Yeah, Rachel really works hard to try to come up with challenges that are easy, and they're fun and that everybody can do. I did want to say, um, as I'm drinking my drink here because I ran out of my coffee, um, I know we had a couple of orders come in this week while we yeah. were gone. They'll be shipping out this week. And also for all of our Patreons, uh, your t-shirts will be shipping out later on at the end of the week. And this Saturday, we will be doing a Patreon live stream at 6 o'clock, right? So excited. 6 o'clock? Yeah. 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So we're excited about that. Uh, next one is from Carrie. Hey, Carrie. She says, I'm going to have a wonderful day. Yes, you are. Two things to make your day better. One, don't watch the news. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> Number two, stay off the bathroom scale. Carrie, that is some brilliant advice. I think both of those things are awesome. Jo um, not Joe, but Caleb and I were joking about, he was showing me some uh, video clips where they were just talking on the news about like a hurricane, a weather situation, like this is terrible. Like we're, you know, getting blown around. And in the background, you could see like people completely fine, like not a like- fan off to the side. Yeah, like they were blowing it out of proportion. It's like, yeah, sometimes you can, you can get bogged down in negativity if you're spending a lot of time in front of the television watching the news. And the same thing, the bathroom scale is not gonna make it any better. It's like, this is terrible. Right, <laughs> let's take a quick commercial break and come back with the rest of our Facebook comments. What's on your Monday menu for today? Eggs. Joe's having eggs. What are you having? Eggs. eggs. <laughs> Do you want me to Lego your ego? The good news is we're not doing it like the last time we did the egg fast. I mean, we're, we're having eggs because there's so many of them. But we can have a little bit of butter. You know, because you do need some fat. But here's what's nice about eggs. We talk about one-to-one. -one. Eggs is a perfect food, right? Because it's, it's one to one. So a little bit of butter just for cooking, but I don't do too much. And then we're allowed to have one keto chow a day or one thing of equipped protein per day. But because the fat's got the to fat be of course has to be a has to be an egg. But that's gonna help us to up the protein because I'm eating a lot more protein. I'm eating like two hundred grams of protein a day. So uh, yeah, so at least, like, I get a little something. Something to look forward to. Something to look forward to. Not eggs. <laughs> I love eggs, but just not only eggs. I'm okay. excited. 
Next one is from Renee. Hey, Renee. She says, it's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. That yes. is so true. Yes, what wisdom. That, that is, is so true. true. Like, if you're like, wow, I feel like I'm this far away from my health goal. I'm really frustrated. Well, stopping now is not going to get you there any quicker. Yeah. Like, just keep going. Even if you're inching along, you're still moving in the right direction. Yep. Uh, next one is for Christina. Hey, Christina. Said, lost five pounds in the last two weeks. Not keto perfect yet but I'm trying. Christina, I'm not keto perfect yet. <laughs> it's like Joe says when he officiates a game. If I ever officiate like the perfect game, if I'm ever perfect at my officiating, it's time to retire because yeah. there's no such thing. Yeah. I mean, we actually have a video coming out. We, we filmed on our way up about, you know, staying keto because people say, well, what do you do when you go on vacation? Are you staying keto? Which we don't know what it's like to not be keto, but we definitely loosen the reins a little bit. I maybe drink a little bit more diet soda, or I'll have pork rinds that may have some maltodextrin in the seasoning. But so I'm not perfect, but I'm not like off the rails eating hamburger buns and sugar and candy and cupcakes. And But I felt so good. Yeah. I felt great on this trip, and I'm telling you, as I feel good, I am getting so smarter when it comes to making choices. Like for instance, we would eat a hot dog. We yep. love sausages. And there were opportunities for me to get like chopped up onions and stuff. And normally like in past years, you know, it's fine to have a little bit of onion on. It's not like it's not keto. Right. But I was like, you know what? I don't want to feel- I'm gonna fart too much in the car with Joe? I'm gonna get a stomach ache and be all cramped up and stuck in the car already. I, I thought interested. you were gonna like say you were thinking about what that was gonna do. No, you're no. just thinking about I was thinking better. about how I was going to feel. So it was the same thing. Like we had gotten some pork rinds and they were they were perfectly keto, but they had some you know flavors in them. And I thought if I eat these, I'm gonna feel like weird because yep. it ha they had a couple of wonky ingredients. There's nothing wrong with them. It's except for how am I going to feel? And right. I was like, I am making the decision that I don't want to feel like crap. Right, right. Uh, next one is from Tammy. Hey, Tammy. Tammy said, April's no joke results. Weight up three pounds. Inches down eight, eight and a half five. inches. BMI down 2.2. Dress size, down one. Tammy, thank you. I'm gonna leave this up here. Thank you so much for sharing this because people need to see this. Thank you for not saying like, you know what? The point, the plus three pounds looks really She's scary. She's up three pounds. In the weight. So like, I don't wanna share that because that looks scary. No, we need to see this. Because again, we say all the time, when you gain muscle, it doesn't weigh nothing. Right. So thank you. This is so brave of you. I love this. So weight is up three pounds. Who the heck cares? You're down eight and a half inches. Right. That is huge. And that's what I say all the time. And believe me, it's, it's a question I have to ask myself and sometimes I don't like the answer I give myself. But if you don't lose one pound, but you're no longer on diabetes medication, you're no longer on statins, you're no longer on blood pressure medication, you're able to walk well, you're able to maybe get rid of the CPAP, all of that stuff, but you don't lose a pound. Would you be happy? And I will be honest, there are times when I will look at myself and look at that scale and be like, no, I wouldn't. Now, is that right? No, it's no. stupid. It's because just a moment. Of all the health issues, but it's also not gonna happen. You will lose weight, but here's the whole thing. Let's get healthy first, and yes. then the weight loss will come. As you put on muscle, and this is something that I've struggled with working with Bronson, the scale might go up, but as the scale goes up, your muscle is going up, so your whole body composition is changing, where you can actually gain 10 pounds, but have a lower body fat percentage. And it, it sounds silly, and again, I always look at like, look at the rock. He doesn't weigh nothing. No, right? shift your mindset. We're aiming for fat loss, not right. weight loss. Mm -hmm. Weight loss, I mean, I at, at some point, no matter how much I lose, I still have skeleton, right. okay? I still have bones. Right. They don't weigh nothing, right? right? So like, just focus on fat loss because yeah, you're up three pounds, but you're down a dress size. Right. That is awesome. Okay, next one is from Jerry. Hey Jerry, he says, I can't believe it's only been five months. The first two were spent really trying to get my bearings on what this was, but the past three with the Keto Child team has really made it easier. I know I have a ways to go, but if I were looking at a football field, I'm on my own 30 yard line with 70 yards per cent to go. Mm -hmm. Happy five month Keto anniversary, current loss, 36.9 pounds, um, 
pounds to go, 90%. Complete, 29.1%. That is awesome. That is such a better way awesome. of looking at it. I, and I love that. And you, you know, some people are going to look, well, I have 70 yards to go. But you've gone 30 yards. You know, you've gone 30 yards. And, you know, before, like... Did you ever think you would go 30 yards? No. Right? No. I would be stuck on, on the beginning at the start starting line. Right, right. Uh, next one is from Ann. Hey, Ann. A non-scale victory. I just bought a sleeveless beach dress in a 2X. I love this so much because not only are you going down in size, but you are planning to go to the beach and have some experiences. Mm -hmm. Enjoying your life is what it's all about. We have a few of these. You want to see some more non-scale victories? I guess I do. Okay, well, here's one from Tammy. Hey, Tammy. She says, my workout pants are too big. <laughs> I have to keep hiking them up. Oh, and my underwear are now a small. Well, that is is awesome. That is cute as it can be. I love it. Uh, here's another one from Barbara. Hey, Barbara. She says, I was at a Metasaurus last night. That's all I ate for dinner. Like, a lot. Okay, so everybody has to go back and take a look at cute Barbara because she's the cutest Metasaurus I've ever seen. And I just love that identity. Like, I want to be a Metasaurus. We're a Metasaurus. Okay. Uh, next one is from Kim. Hey, Kim. She says, I'm wanting to change a couple things for the month of May. Of course, I'll be doing the Stay in Motion Challenge for May, yeah. as well as cutting dairy products from my diet, unless they are already listed in ingredients. Okay. I was thinking about changing to 25 total carbs without tracking net carbs. The first two are a definite for May, but I'm still on the fence about the third one, though. So I'm reaching out to my keto family's options, uh, opinions, experiences, etc. when it comes to doing a total carb count versus net count. Um, I'm still very new to keto, 2-14-2021. Am I putting too many restrictions into one month? Well, I first of all, I think getting moving, that's not a restriction. That yep. that is awesome. That's just celebrating your life and, you know, enjoying every day and like having some goals for yourself. As far as like total carb versus net carb, we do total carb and I really like the freedom. I feel like it is less pressure on me because I'm not constantly, you know, having to do a big giant math equation. I just look at it and I'm like, okay, it fits or it doesn't, Right. you know? So I, I enjoy the total carb protocol. Yeah, so here's what I'm gonna say, like eliminating dairy, not a bad idea. I mean, some people have no problems with dairy. Some people do have problems with dairy. For us, for the most part, dairy is okay until we get to heavy whipping cream. If we yes. do too much heavy whipping cream, I get the little baby you get fat. like a bloat. Yeah. Um, but it just depends. Like I have no problems with butter, which a lot of people who have dairy problems don't have problems with butter because right. it's mostly fat. Ghee. It just depends on your body. When it comes to the total carbs, my suggestion would be this, and I don't know what you were doing already. Do the total carbs, maybe up it a little bit. You know, you can start at 30 total carbs, see how your body's reacting, even 40 total carbs. I like telling people, if you really want to have some keto treats once in a while, like maybe one keto bar, or you want to have a keto chow, you know, doing like a net slash total carb, I don't ever think is a bad idea. So where you're going to say like, I'm going to do 30 total carbs, but my net carbs can't be over 20, or you can actually say it reverse. Like I can do 20 net carbs, but my total carbs can't be over 30. And what that does is it'll just, it puts that limitation so you don't overdo things. I can turn 200 total carbs into 20 net carbs. Yeah. Well, that's just not going to be good. Your body is digesting it regardless of what anybody says. Like even Dr. Barry talks about these fibers, a lot of them, your body is digesting at least 50% of them. That's energy that your body's got to go through before it gets to the fat. What's magical about total carbs is it tends to put you into the lane of eating whole foods versus right. eating, you know, packaged stuff. And that's right. the direction you really want to be in. Right. You want to get off as many crutches as possible and get to, you know, cooking good whole foods for yourself right. and enjoying them. Right. And one of the things that we like to do is we like to say like, okay, so we're going to do for the most part, we do 20 total carbs a day. So sometimes it's 25. Once a week, we up that to like 30 to 35 and we say that's our dessert day. That's the day where we're gonna have some kind of a nice keto treat. Maybe we'll have a little bit of, you know, like enlightened ice cream or we'll make a mug cake, something that's a little bit higher in total carbs but still keeping us in that lower net carbs. So even when we do up and have that dessert day, we still keep 
our net carbs under 20. And it's just a way of keeping ourselves in check. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Faith. Hey Faith, she says, I'm new to keto. I'm on a super low budget of $30 a week for me. What are some good items I can get my protein and fats in? I normally always eat broccoli and cauliflower and other greens like salads, but what else can I eat to get good fats in and protein? Thanks in advance. These guys. Okay, so if you're looking for fat and protein, there's no better food out there than an egg. Yeah. And I hate to say that because Rachel's me me making me eat eggs every day this week. But they're great. But an egg is the perfect food. It's one to one. So every egg has, I believe it's like 12 grams of protein in it. It's got its fat, it does have a carb in it. I'm not worrying about the carbs. If I eat two dozen eggs in the day, I am not gonna worry about it. So. You know, oh my gosh, two dozen eggs. <laughs> it's happening. Well, and the thing is, is that if you want some more inspiration, look back over our challenges. Check out Heath and Shelly's um, YouTube because they, you know, show all of the different proteins that we suggested during our CHOP challenge. And all of those are very, you know, low in expense. It's like kielbasa and chicken thighs and cube steak and- Ground beef. Lots of stuff yeah. that's cheap. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of things out there. We don't need to be eating prime rib no. and ribeye and expensive steaks. Tuna fish, chicken. And expensive salmon. You can Tuna fish is good. Ground beef. Honestly, 90% of our diet, I mean, we're having brisket today, but that's a treat because it does take so long. And let's face it, brisket's expensive. I buy a pack of brisket and that's still like $2.80 a pound at Sam's Club. But it's still cheaper for us to make that at home than it is to, to go out as far as for quantity wise. If you're right. meal prepping, it's a really good meal prep. Yeah, but most of our food is chicken breast, ground beef, and eggs. That is probably 80% of the meals that we eat. Those yeah. three things. We seem kind of boring. Yeah. Next one is from Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Jackie said, I hope someone can help me out. I saw an ice cream recipe for an ice cream with just keto chow, water, and whipping cream. I have searched and I can't seem to find it. I need to know how much cream and water. Uh, that is our recipe. I will leave a link for it right up here. Thanks for We actually it. have a couple of them. So um, basically, it depends on how much fat. My personal opinion, when you're making keto chow ice cream, if you're doing it in a blender, okay, which is we do it two ways, one with an ice cream maker and one with a blender. If you're making it in a blender, it's gotta be a good high speed blender like with a tamper, like a Vitamix or something like that. And we use three to four ounces minimum of heavy whipping cream. If you do less than that, it comes out very icy. It, right. It just doesn't like come out creamy at all. So you need to do it, now you can do it with butter. We've done it with butter. Um, it's pretty good so long as, again, you have to have at least like 400 calories worth of fat in there. Otherwise it's just too icy. Uh, and then you do make basically with water. Now if you do it in the blender, it's the heavy whipping cream and then another four ounces of water. So four ounces of heavy whipping cream, four ounces of water, and then two cups of ice. And it's kind of, you gotta play with it. If you're making just a regular one in an ice cream maker, make a, Keto chow, like four ounces of heavy whipping cream, fill it up with water, just like you're gonna make a regular one and then pour it in your ice cream maker and you're done. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Uh, next one is from Brian. This is so great. So this is a picture that he posted and said, oh my gosh, my wife is casually having a chat with our postal carrier and keeping our chow club box hostage. <laughs> Isn't that like always the case? You've been waiting for something. I feel like I've done this too to you where you're like waiting for something in the mail and I am like in a conversation with the postal carrier and you're just like, come inside. Yeah, right? um, like I want to, will you do this with food? Like I yeah. want to eat. I'm on the phone. I want no. to eat. I've already waited long enough. <laughs> okay, we have one more. It's going to be from Diane. Hey, Diane. Diane said, non-scale victory. Thanks to keto and the weight loss, there is no more aches and pains and general feeling better. I got to spend the weekend with the man I love doing a hobby we love. Oh. We spent the weekend geocaching. We were in the forest at Land Between the Lakes doing the LBL Heritage Civil War series. Nice. We hiked a little over nine miles total and seven of that was in the rain. Wow. We saw some beautiful scenery and got a nifty coin. Before keto, I would have been miserable after all that hiking. Here are a few picks from the weekend. If it is too many, let me know and I'll remove them. No. I just had to, so many to choose from. We want you to share them. So 
that is just amazing. I mean, it it really, that's what keto is about. That's what getting healthy is about. Even if you're not doing with keto, it's it's being able to get out there and do things we love. We started a keto camp, we started a camping channel because of keto. We we just got into RVing. We wanted to, to get out and, and explore all of the awesome state parks we have in Florida. Part of the, like, what I think is the best thing about keto is we are no longer in a, in a cycle of gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight. You're, we're gonna lose the weight, we're gonna get healthy, and then get out there and live the life that God gave you. Right. It's such a miracle. And then the, the fact that you can spend the time with the people that you love and enjoy it and not be thinking about something that's hurting on your body and what all you have to carry. You can just really be there present. And I loved our road trip. I wasn't thinking about how my legs hurt or my feet hurt or my joints hurt. You know, Joe, you know, after sitting in the same position for a long time was like, I'm ready to walk around this car for a minute. But I love the fact that you weren't in pain no. and we just enjoyed the trip and had good conversations and spent time with the people we love. Yep. Well, that is gonna be this week's Kid on the Couch. Um, now, we have 111 other ones that you can always check out. Wow. Now, we do wanna say, again, please make sure you go ahead and use the link down below if you're interested in getting some perfect keto. Please support the sponsors that support Two Crazy Ketos. Uh, also, if you haven't done so yet, head on over to the Chow Club box unboxing. Yeah. And. Uh, Leave a comment and get your chance to win one of two of the May Chow Clubs and try out our new flavor of Keto Chow. I'm so excited. If you are interested in getting some Keto Chow, there is a link down below. And when you use that link, you will get 10% off your entire purchase. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other Keto on the Couch episodes, which I'm going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time Joe spends an entire week eating nothing but eggs, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.